Do you feel ignorant because you don't know numbers? You don't know which one go which way and they got all these marks and things on them? I know, honey, it's hard. But there is a solution. Fort Ben Tutoring. And now here go Mr. Whit. Explain math to us, Mr. Whit. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Whit in Fort Ben Tutoring. Today with a new tutorial on degrees to radians. Converting degrees into radians. Let's check it out. All right. Well, what you should know, ladies and gentlemen, is that every circle has a combined total of 360 degrees. And that's equivalent to two pi radians. That's right. The measurement of a central angle of a circle can be stated in degrees as well as in radians. If we were to solve for degrees, we could divide both sides by 360. All right. So let's make that happen. Divide both sides by 360. From there, we can cancel out our 360s and we'll find that one degree will be equivalent to, let's, we, we can simplify this. Two goes to itself once. 2 goes into 360 180 times. We can change this into pi over 180 radians. All right. So that's what we'll be using in this video. The fact that 1 degree is equivalent to pi over 180 radians. Yeah, that's the conversion factor we want to use. Let's go ahead and look at problem number 1. So with problem number one, we have 60 degrees and we're asked to convert this into radians. So what I'll be doing here is I'll be placing that 60 over one and then multiplying times our conversion factor, which is pi over 180. From there, we're going to simplify, ladies and gentlemen, because I prefer to simplify before I multiply. So I know that 60 will go into itself once, 60 goes into 183 times, and then all you have to do is multiply straight across, there you go, and and one times pi is going to be pi and one times three is three and and that's my answer that's it pi thirds radians pi over three radians is going to be our result ladies and gentlemen there you go now you don't necessarily have to write the radians it's assumed as long as you don't have a degree symbol on here that this angle measurement would be in radians there you have it so i'm going to go ahead and box up my answer here red boxing it just like that, ladies and gentlemen, and that's problem number one. On to our next one. Problem number two. Well, in problem number two, we have 90 degrees, and we're asked to convert 90 degrees into radians. So let's do that. We'll place our 90 over 1 and multiply times our conversion factor, which is pi over 180. From here, I'll be simplifying before I multiply, because that's my preference. I say that 90 will go into itself once. I know that 90 will go into 180 twice. Thank you. And then I'll be multiplying straight across. So 1 times pi is pi. Mm -hmm. And 1 times 2 is 2. And we're done. I'm putting a box around this. That's right. Boxing up the answer. That is problem number 2, ladies and gentlemen. And we're on to our next problem. Here we go. Problem number three, we have 150 degrees. We're asked to change this into radians, and that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be placing my 150 over 1. I'll be multiplying times the conversion factor, which is pi over 180. I know that 150 and 180 can both be simplified by the number 30. All right, so 30 will go into 150 five times. 30 will go into 180 six times and then multiplying straight across that's right get those arrows popping ladies and gentlemen and you'll have the five times pi will give you five pi and then one times six is six and you're done okay now this is a common way to write it simply to put five pi over six or you could write it as five six pi and it's the same result ladies and gentlemen so either form of this answer is just going to be a-okay all right so there you go but you'll most commonly see it written as five pi over six done and done ladies and gentlemen that's problem number three so any form of this answer will do that's problem number three on to our next problem with problem four here, we have negative 300 degrees. Now, if you're dealing with a negative measurement for your angle, mm -hmm, it's gonna stay negative, all right? So even though we're converting this from degrees to radians, the answer will be negative because we started out with a negative, all right? So there you have it. So don't confuse this process with finding a coterminal, a positive and a negative value. No, 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 no. You're just simply converting degrees to radians. So if it starts out with a negative value, it will end 
with a negative value. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that in mind. So I'll be rewriting this as negative 300 over 1 times our conversion factor, which is pi over 180. And then I would hope to simplify. And I do know that 300 and 180 can both be simplified, reduced by the common factor, which is 60. Mm -hmm. See, 60 will go into 300 five times, and 60 will go into 180 three times. From here, we'll multiply straight across. So a negative times a positive is a negative. All right. Oh, you, you wanted those arrows popping. There you go. There you go. There's your arrows popping. There you go. And so five times pi gives us five pi. And then 1 times 3 is 3. And this is our answer, negative 5 pi over 3, ladies and gentlemen. I'll go ahead and gift wrap it for you. There you have it. And a nice package for you there. Mm -hmm. Red box in it. And let's move on to problem number 5. In problem number 5, we have 180 degrees. We are asked to change this into radians. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and take this 180, ladies and gentlemen, and place it over 1. We will then multiply by the conversion factor pi over 180. Then, my preference is to simplify before I multiply. So I know that 180 will go into itself once, and it'll go into itself once. And so, multiplying straight across, getting my arrows popping there. I have 1 times pi is pi, and 1 times 1 is 1, and then simplifying that further, pi divided by 1 is pi, and that's my answer. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Red boxing it, just like that. Okay, let's continue. In problem number six, we have negative 1,800 degrees. Once again, if you start out with a negative value, your answer will be negative. It must be negative. So converting this into radians, we'll have negative 1,800 divided by 1 times pi divided by 180. From here, I'll be simplifying before I multiply. And I know that a negative times a positive is a negative. So I wrote down my negative sign first. From there, 180 will go into itself once and will go into 1,810 times, ladies and gentlemen, 10 times. Multiply straight across, all right, arrows popping. We have 10 times pi gives me 10 pi. Mm -hmm. And one times one is one, so this simplifies to give me negative 10 pi. And done, ladies and gentlemen, it's negative 10 pi. That is the answer to problem number six. Red box. That's problem number six. Moving on to the next problem. In our next problem, ladies and gentlemen, we have 42 and 5 tenths degrees. Mm -hmm. The process will remain the same. You will take this 42 and 5 tenths over 1, multiply that by pi over 180. Now, notice that your original degree was in decimals. So most likely your answer will also be in decimal notation. In other words, it won't have the pi symbol in play. So what you'll do is you'll simply multiply straight across to get 42 and 5 tenths pi divided by 180 and then put this into the calculator. All right, so I'll show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we have our trusty calculator. We have the 42 and 5 tenths times pi divided by 180 inputted into our calculator, which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is a TI-84 plus. All right, so if you got a TI, a Texas Instruments calculator, it can look just like this within it. So go ahead and press enter, and you end up with this result. So rounding to our nearest thousandths place, you'll end up with 742 thousandths. So your result, 742 thousandths, ladies and gentlemen, done and done, and that's going to be your answer in radians. All right, that's problem number seven, ladies and gentlemen, on to our next problem. In problem number eight, we're given 56 degrees and 25 minutes. Now, you can convert this into decimal notation first if you like, or using your calculator, you should be able to input this directly as it is. So I'll show you that version. Here, knowing that we're converting this into radians, I'll be placing the 56 degrees, 25 minutes, over 1 times pi over 180. Okay. All right. So multiplying straight across, we'll end up with 56 degrees, 25 minutes pi all over 180 degrees. And once again, you can input this into your calculator exactly as you see it. Let me show you. 
So notice how I have it inputted as 56 degrees, 25 minutes pi over 180. So once again, you can type it into your calculator. If your calculator allows for this type of notation, mm -hmm, just go ahead and type it all in at once and then press enter. There you go. So you end up with this rounded to the nearest thousands place as 985 thousandths. All right. So that is going to be your answer in radians. Let's go ahead and write it out. All right, so this equals 985 thousandths, ladies and gentlemen. Red boxing it, just like that. That's problem number eight, and this concludes our lesson on converting degrees into radians, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Whitwood for Ben Tutoring, asking you to please rate, comment, and definitely subscribe. And if you're able, please donate, as that helps us bring you more free math tutorials from me, Mr. Whit, and Fort Ben Tutoring. Peace. We certainly hope you enjoyed today's presentation by Fort Ben Tutoring. Did you understand the program? Would you like to rate us or give us some feedback or subscribe to us? You could do all that on tutormemath.net.